the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola7 Owen, we're Kwama Lolo here on the Ola7 podcast and this is the Genius Kids show and today it's a different show altogether. We've got um, these two beautiful young ladies in studio, you know, to talk about, um, you know, cyberbullying and everything that's been trending on social media. Of late, we've seen um, uh, some pictures or nudes, I think, Manawame Titi trending on social media, people that to be leaked by the then a boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. Uh, we've since been arrested. I, I've seen that even Agaso released on bail. Uh, but my issues are actually, you know, those issues and actually trend on social media. So I've got, uh, you know, young girls to talk about this new new thing, uh, social media trends, but now there's an aspect called cyberbullying. So I've got, it's going to be a debate. So we've got the affirmative side and the non-affirmative side. So let me allow them to introduce themselves. Okay, so my name is Shani Swale. I'm an upper six student at Glen One High School. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And you're specky like me, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you? Hi, my name is Paida Moyo Masarakufa, lower six Bradley High School. Bradley High School. Yes. So there's Bradley, there is uh, Glenview. Yes. Wow. So where, where is Bradley? Bradley is in Bindura. Bindura. Wow. So you're yeah, all the way from Bindura. Yes. Great, guys. So you see, we are talking to you know people from all corners of the country, uh, Bindura and one from you know Glenview here in Harare. So guys, you know, I, I, I'm sure you've seen the pictures uh, of uh, 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 Manud uh, uh, RTT, you know, Athifi, in fact. Actually, I just tender on uh, on social media. Uh, and also, some people say, you know, parents are not doing enough to protect their children from cyberbullying and abuse. So, uh, I want to start with the affirmative side. So, what is cyberbullying? Okay, cyberbullying, I would like to believe, we're talking about an act of using, you know, electronic technology to harass, to intimidate, or even threaten an individual. Mm. You know, this can include posting harmful or mean content uh, about someone on social media as well as sending mean messages or even stealing someone's identity mm -hmm. online. But you know, when we're talking about, you know, specifically this case, we are talking about, you know, an act of uh, harassing as well as threatening a person online. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I believe. Okay, and the non family side? We agree. You agree. <laughs> okay, that's, that's awesome. So how is it different from bullying in general? Now that you're saying cyberbullying, how is it different from just bullying? Okay, from bullying, like we've got different types of bullying, especially at school, we've got that bullying. You know, mm -hmm. And right now we are talking about a bullying that happens 24-7. Because if we were to be realistic, social media, I mean, it's, it's a 24-7 thing. Mm -hmm. So it happens throughout the day and it, it can reach wider. Okay, you know, travel very fast. Mm -hmm. It can happen, you know, in a, in a time span, in a very short time mm -hmm. span, mm -hmm. you know. And this can make uh, the impact on victims more severe and it is very harder to escape mm -hmm. because as we all know that social media, it can keep things for a very long time. True. What can I say? Mm -hmm. They're always there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. And uh, the non-affirmative side, what's your take on this? Um, well, 
Well, actually, what Shani said is actually true. Mm -hmm. Because when we are talking about bullying in general, for example, in schools, mm -hmm. we have this physical bullying where you guys have to fight physically. Mm -hmm. But now we are talking about a bullying that comes with technology. You are being bullied online. Mm -hmm. That, for example, the pictures of Fifi. Mm -hmm. For physical bullying, you get hit, you have the scars. Yes. But then now when we are talking about cyber bullying, case in Ogonaya Vara, but we still have the pictures. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, cyber bullying in a way impact like Yaina mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's uh, very, very, very powerful. So in light of the given uh, I mean uh, info slide, why should we blame parents, you know, specifically for, for the case uh, for, for the increase or in cases of cyber bullying? Okay, I can safely say that we can blame parents because they are overlooking these, you know, online um, activities of their children. And this is giving cyber bullies a free pass to continue their behavior unchecked. Mm -hmm. Do you know, with the increasing complexity, you know, in the digital world, parents don't even know what's mm -hmm. going on in these social media platforms. Yeah. Yeah. So, as I believe, if parents were very so serious, you know, protect them now, they would be eager to know kuti chichi nenge chichi mboiti kapa ma social media platforms. Chichi kana kutono chaka kutono zizi kwa chaka so that they learn in order if they see their children going through this website they know no 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 this website is very wrong. Yeah. This website you cannot go through that website. So I feel like our parents marukure geri na nyaya ito. I'm not saying they should spend like 247 you know checking kuti I send an message, which website did she visit, mm -hmm. which social media platforms is she on right now. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they should know what's going on in the digital world so that they are able to protect us. So on that case, uh, mm. <laughs> and, uh, your take, Paira? Um, I actually do not agree. Mm -hmm. I feel like parents are doing enough in the sense that when we are trying to look at the kids at large, mm. they're not solely the responsibility of the parents. We have um, other stakeholders at this uh, stage where we can see Kuti children are people who are spending most of their time at school, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just come home, for example, you finish school at 4 p.m. Yes. 4 p.m. you sleep at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Next morning, 8 a.m. you are at school. Yeah. So I feel like parents, according to their capability, they are doing enough. Because we are, if we are trying to see at this generation, at this world, mm -hmm. we cannot expect my 50-year-old father to know these things about social media. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. don't do this, mm -hmm. don't do that. Yes. Because that is his limit. Mm -hmm. But then we are not talking about uh, the people who spend time with the children. Yes. They are the ones that are not doing enough. So are we saying, are, are we putting the blame on teachers? Yeah. Because you spend most, most, most of the time yes, with, yeah, with the teachers. Yes, I'm blaming the teachers. Mm. I'm blaming the school at large. Mm -hmm. um, besides the teachers, I'm also blaming the government, the social media platforms at mm -hmm. large. Because I'm denying the fact that um, parents must take the sole responsibility. Because mm -hmm. we need to work together. If parents come from this angle, the school come from this angle, social media platforms come from it this angle, mm -hmm. we can reduce cyberbullying. Mm, maybe I would oppose to that. Okay. Because it talk with her, now Mm -hmm. Do you know that in Gagwati, 90% of schools in Zimbabwe, they do not allow these mobile phones in schools. Mm. So, when a parent, you are at fault, because you allow your daughter, you allow your child to go with a mobile phone at school. True. That is completely invalid, what you said. Because Kuchkoro, they are expected to go to the school, they are going to go to the school. But with this uh, new curriculum, people are, are now bringing tablets in school, they are bringing your phones, you know, you're always um, yeah, learning online. But I do not blame them. Mm. Because learning online, you're supposed to learn online when you're home. Mm -hmm. you, you, you but maybe researching, researching when you're at school. Are I you know. not using... We're, we're giving homeworks. We're giving okay. homeworks. You can go and research on your mobile phone. <laughs> so are you saying you're not using your phones at, I mean, at school? Yes, we're not using our phones at school. <laughs> Is that true? Not uh, all of Pindamaya? us, but some of we us are, are not using laptops our phones at school. Uh -huh. Besides, not phones. Besides, when we say that um, we are blaming the schools, mm -hmm. we are not saying that she, we understand that 90% uh, of the schools do not allow phones. Mm -hmm. But then we are talking about uh, the principle of respect. Ubuntu. Yes. These things are the ones that are taught at school. Mm -hmm. So when the teachers, the schools come, they educate the mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. because education is key. Yeah. If we talk about respecting each other, being physically or, or online, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter whether you have a phone at school or at home mm -hmm. because um, if you learn the principle of respect, the principle of Ubuntu, you can apply it both ways, mm -hmm. whether at home or at, at school. school. Yeah. All right, let me authenticate by saying that 
now we know good our teachers our whatever at school they know what's going on in this digital world so despite this risk many parents are failing to educate their children about the potential dangers or even monitor their online ac- activities leaving them completely vulnerable to nefarious intentions of others mm-hmm. so in other words thank you because you are agreeing with me which indeed parents are not doing enough because parents don't have to fail to educate these children about these dangers you know that are lacking in the digital world mm. yes okay so I, I want to understand let me start um, with you um Apaidamo. Yes. What are the effects of cyberbullying on the victims? The effects of cyberbullying on the victims are uh, mental disorders. Mm-hmm. Um we have cases where uh munu ano ano ita emotionally stressed je kuti ino affect her kind of social life yeah. yake. and then at the end of the day we have suicidal thoughts mm-hmm. from the victim of cyberbullying mm-hmm. yeah okay and you take um, Shanice? okay i would consider ngati so low self esteem mm-hmm. because even kana ukafamba let's say it regarding this issue ukafamba papa now people begin to talk about you ah ndiye ndiye uya uya ka so you you lose confidence mm. you literally lose confidence but jese sha uno zoita and then depression mm. anxiety yes. you know even engage in self harm or a suicide mm-hmm. you always think so like everyone knows that my nude pictures are out there yes. so what yes. am i going to do mm. you, you can't even engage yourself in some of the activities even in some of the conversations in when you can't because mm-hmm. you know you're afraid to be judged we know that people out there are vanu vanu judged 24/7 mm. so like no self esteem chai chai you can be yourself mm-hmm. Just because you're afraid, Kuti. True. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's that's very very powerful. I'm talking to these uh, beautiful ladies here in studio uh, on the Genius Kids show. We're debating about you know cyberbullying. It's been a, I mean trending on social media these days. If you go on the comment section, sometimes people are just throwing tantrums. You know, I also mind how is it going to affect the next person? You just you know even. Some when I post a picture like a power package on 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 his or her Facebook page, someone would just go and just attack the person for no reason. As me no, oh chakas, you know, guys, that's cyber building we're talking about. But I want to understand from you guys, you know, what I, I heard you um talking about you saying no, the parents are doing enough. The other one saying no, they're not doing enough. Then, but I want to understand, you know, what should parents do, you know, to make sure that uh, uh their their children are safe. Or from cyberbullying, the role of parents in this whole you know dilemma here. All right. In any as for parents, parents should educate their children. They should educate their children. If you do this, because it's just as vanaga. We are intimidated by genetica online. Mm-hmm. So our parents should educate us or even, I don't know, set limits on screens or even monitor our online activities as much as we are, as long as we are protected, mm-hmm. we don't mind. But we should be educated. We should be mentored about, mm-hmm. you know, the dangers of online, mm-hmm. cyberbullying, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. Yes. And and you? Well, according to my side, the non-affirmative delegation, I'm actually saying that parents are doing enough. Mm-hmm. according to their capability as I, as i have stated before mm-hmm. but then my case is coming to the kids my case is coming to the schools to the government initiatives mm-hmm. the social media platforms mm-hmm. because cyberbullying we understand that it's something that we can never eradicate but rather something that can be reduced mm-hmm. from my side i am saying that parents are doing enough but now the parents need help because if they do enough on their own At the end of the day we are not going anywhere as a delegation. So you you're, you're blaming the teachers and the government. Who yeah. are you blaming? Um my key stakeholder mm-hmm. are the children mm-hmm. because munhu kana mwanari nubuka nubu inubu kana unambo udzwa kuti don't do this don't do that because what she said she told us that um the parents are supposed to tell us the dangers uh, this this that that mm-hmm. but then I as a teenager I understand the dangers of cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. She told us that depression, anxiety, we all know that because we have heard of cases of people who have been cyberbullied, mm-hmm. right? So at the end of the day, tozongono ukuthi kana munari nobu inobu. Now the um the whole story is now going back to the children. They are the ones that need to make an effort because kana munhu ari like someone of principle, someone of value of self-respect. Munhu ayakuthi 
we can eradicate this we can reduce the cyberbullying mm -hmm. and what i mean you peda mm -hmm. uh what should the various social institutions do you know, to protect children from cyberbullying well i feel like the uh, social institutions one of our policies mm. working together with the government for example but not tanga ku install na ig and facebook yes. bye bye what are our policy ya kuti we all need to read mm -hmm. if we read that policy you wanna kuti if you spread information that is um that is going to affect the next person without the consent mm -hmm. can a death penalty child but have you guys read about uh, the cyberbullying act is yes. there yes i have heard of it mm -hmm. i've heard of the cyberbullying act by the government yes. right yeah. so these are the you know policies in place to protect <laughs> the victims well i feel like we need policies that uh -huh. are practiced uh -huh. because mm -hmm. we need policies that is in the munu chaizo chaizo ari kunzi wakaita cyberbullying i don't think anyone will be cyberbullying <laughs> because at the end of the day we look at zimbabwe mm -hmm. zimbabwe is a country that is filled with the rules and laws but they are not practiced mm. so at the end of the day can I tell you someone who is linked to this cyberbullying? I got told what can you punish for the but, whole world? But I, I, I've told you about uh, the case, yeah, yeah, Fifi, mm. the ex-boyfriend, Akasungwa. After this, my pictures, my those pictures, I just surfaced on mm. social media. I got told no police Akasungwa in the end of the court. Isn't that enough? It's not. And then what? I end up court. I his his on bail, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day. If uh, I leak someone's nude pictures, mm -hmm. I got to go. Mm -hmm. I'm on bail. I'm out. Yeah, I I like to second what Paida is saying. Saka apa trugoti. Yes, he was taken to 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 jail. Right? Mm -hmm. and he was released. Shato mm -hmm. Somebody else is gonna come and do this the same act, yeah. mm -hmm. and he knows who at the end of the day is going to be released. So what you are saying about these policies should be practiced very yeah. much. So I find out that you Munuwese who has committed, you know, the crime of cyberbullying, or somebody who has cyberbullied somebody, she can go muti ten years in jail without negotiations. Mm -hmm. Then trust me, nobody would even Anga dare would. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, nobody would even dare to do that because I'm going to get ten years in jail. Oh, wow. But right now, you know, corruption, mm -hmm. corruption is there. Yeah. Corruption is real, mm -hmm. and as much as we cannot eradicate it, we to that try to reduce it, but hey, it's it's always there, yes. you know. Yes. So I believe that if these policies are put into practice, they are really pra effective practice, JJ, mm -hmm. then trust me, as you know, the cyberbullying, but we can reduce it. Mm -hmm. You know, we can serve some individuals mm -hmm. out there, you know, the likes of Fifi mm -hmm. and others who there vanga kwani so quit this very same act. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you as um, as teenagers, do you think it's also good to be sending, you know, nudes to your boyfriend? Okay, I can say whether say he's that. going to keep it private or or not. But do you think it's a good thing to do? All right, I can't answer straight to that question. Mm -hmm. But it's just as my teenagers, one to know to, to know about when peer pressure, mm -hmm. and two that thing you know, like your teenager cheater. We don't know anything about mm -hmm. love. That's an honest truth. Yeah. But mm -hmm. in a obsession, that thing when you don't want to lose a guy mm -hmm. because. They come to us now. They say, if you don't send me that, those those pictures, mm -hmm. then ah, I don't see anywhere we're going with this relationship mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And then you will, you're afraid to be left with age. Maybe that thing you do have, exactly. you're my boyfriend, you're my boyfriend. You see, <laughs> and then you think, no, let me just send you know mm -hmm. to just make him happy and yeah. all that. Yeah. But at the same time, we don't even think, Kuti, after that send, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that relationship is not gonna stay for like four or five years. Mm -hmm. That's an honest truth if yeah. we had to you know to talk about the principle of realism, yeah. chai chai. Mm -hmm. But then you, you don't even consider what hey suck my pictures why I might say mm -hmm. because boys wanted that mentality you could fix. Mm -hmm. You know, you could fix uh, the hand, especially fight can get you a breakup here, you could maybe you were the hand, you were caught up in the crossfire to was a cheater or anything. <laughs> then, seriously, they would want and to they'll use those it. pictures against you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. My instincts are telling me because maybe this was the very same thing that I was used. Ah. And no more cancer size. Yeah. Now those those nude pictures are all over social media mm -hmm. platforms. And of course, maybe if his motive was to make sure that she suffers, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to lie, she suffered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because those nude pictures were like there 24-7. And everyone knows them. about them. Mm. You know, both True. the teenagers, mm -hmm. 
Our parents, they yes. know about that. No tongo shkoto tongo tongo. Pane mwana rukuni zaka liksa balu di chaka chaka. Imagine that thing. Imagine then you go being and see, discussed oh. in families. <laughs> you being discussed. And you know, internet. Yes. I can't go anywhere. I can't go. You know, garai ripo. Yes. If I if I if I go on Google now and search, I could find it. Mm-hmm. Or even in the next ten years, kara fisi na gufisi. At this was the technology nengi afambasi. But it's always there, you know. But so, morally, mm. morally, guys. You think all right I, I, I understand that yeah, you'll be trying to protect your your relationship <laughs> and see you about it. morally do you think it's it's a good thing um you know just sending those pictures yeah to your boyfriend but morally okay I, personally I, I i think it's not a good thing yeah why I'm I, I, i'll that. say number one uh, today you are with uh, boyfriend a <laughs> yeah. he's not the one or just garana yeah, either yeah. So the next minute wam to meet mama mama nudes mm. then you move on to the next guy then uh, yeah with this guy this one try to he's try to put up a good boy with the, like with the rightful side mm-hmm. only kissa or even it would even cost a marriage yeah yeah, yeah. towards your wedding and we don't have chat room so 10 october by fire to da kunyebera mepo ah sikuru ningiwe yango ndi boy pick yango za no job ziwa Yeah. And, and it will just even when I was that I won't want to do that at all, you know, this yeah, and that. Yeah. But he, somehow, it's not going to be like a chimney or suppose. Look, when I'm in, I just want. I don't know. I don't like a family. If I'm going to go somebody, family then. Yes. I'm not going to engage into any sexual activity, mm. but because of just can't go leak. I can't go. So I'm going to do something good. Yeah, in our teenage language, do patita go to hand in kakapera. Yes, ah, ngwe ya kakapera. And it might even hinder you could like let's say to up a befitting stage where you are supposed to be getting married. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Because maybe that person is going to tongo rwadzo. Ah, even ngwe ya ka adoro na ngwe ya. And then you know, I manage go to get go maybe that person is going to tongo. Ah, ugoro this hand exactly. this hand my pictures are okay she, she 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 sends nudes to boys hey. she sends nudes to boys hey. 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 reputation is completely ruined but these days it's rampant uh, uh, to an extent and to funga kuti vasinga to send my pictures are very few <laughs> those who are saying the pictures are too so I don't know if you guys agree <laughs> i second that yeah wasanga to send my pictures ato vatu vashoma boys it like kawasanga to tumira pictures only wakutanga wakapusa i don't know yeah or maybe you're not clean in a way <laughs> not really or maybe i feel like boys want to discuss it no bana to ngwani ma steps ekuti after i approach her uh-huh. and find out yes after uh-huh. that you know we do this do this and uh-huh. that and after that want to skip a stage ekuti can you can you kindly send me those nasty pictures can, can, you, I, can ca- I, help I, you? I like the way can kindly you kindly, <laughs> <laughs> kindly have those nasty pictures and then when you because i, I don't wanna lie i don't feel like girls could just send bano send a ipapa ipapa i mean to get a send but obviously no ngwato mbunyengererwa because this is something that is very high like for me seriously <laughs> No, yeah, I'm, of course. <laughs> But we, have to, we have to be real. When yeah, we this get is to a realistic world. We have to be world. very, yes. very real. And things are happening, you know, these days. Yeah. Things are ha- just just happening. But in any my worry mm. is uh, about the future. Yeah. yeah. The future where we are going mm. as, as young people, you know, what generation, what sort of generation are we, you know, are we or your yeah. child over uh, yeah. uh, in the future? Then you just ha ala mama watch we sana ngongo ni ma nudes ari all of us it is mama and even these days okay uh, there is this thing which is not really far from what you're talking about okay. uh, i don't know if you have seen um, ana mai uh, very pregnant okay. right going uh, for a photo shoot yes uh, naked mm. right also a picture and <laughs> they post that on social media mm-hmm. yeah. i think those pictures are supposed to be kept i mean private yeah, but or something but why then post those pictures those kind of picture on on social media I, i've seen it happening in Ghana, you know west western countries mm-hmm. uh, they don't mind mm-hmm. they don't mind but yeah. our community ta wa kira zwimwe zwi ta ku post zidumburuko chi 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 na mfeka then wa moto post aneka mwana ka choka kagadzwa pa dumbu eh mama asina kufeka and it's well, on social media i feel like the thing with us zimbabweans or africans to be precise is that we are trying to adopt the western culture mm, okay we can, we can simply call that neo colonialism uh-huh. they are coming 
here in Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. you know, with different things, with different cultures. And then us as Zimbabweans, mind you, to know that we just say, ah, but then, and we are, we are slowly mm-hmm. um, losing, you know, identity. Exactly. Yeah. We don't know who we are. We don't mm-hmm. know. We, we don't even know. know. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I would not ah. So do you Zimbabwe? No, I don't go to Nyara to Zimbabwe. You must, we must be ashamed to do Zimbabwe. You should be proud. Yeah. Say, I'm Zimbabwe, and I'm, you know, mm-hmm. the name of morals, the yes. name of principles, and the name of you know, I'm yeah. well cultured. But uh, these days, I'm just, I want to say social media. That you go see us. But uh, guys, um, let, let's talk about this issue of uh, cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. In, in depth, you know, uh, about it. Mm-hmm. Now that one hour, Jinji, um, on social media, mm-hmm. I want to ask you guys. Do you think it's a good idea to give our youngsters, you know, uh, cell phones? Um. Eh, ma, ma, ma. No. All right, all right. So I got something that is easy. No, to introduce, you know, the colors of school. I recently learned that even the primary schools are not quite color. So you need research. They can even tell you go and research those pictures on social media platforms, mm-hmm. and then now a parent cannot afford kuti. Phone ya ke yano shandi sa twenty four seven. Ochi she ani Do you know some parents mm-hmm. cannot even afford to do that? Yeah. So then they now think no. Let me just buy her own gadget. Mm-hmm. Ashandi se eka. Mm-hmm. But when the the intention of you know of not sharing the gadget, you know, and finding a solution of buying her mm-hmm. own. Nengeri kuti abati rika ni Exactly. But then at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see, and the non benefits into our two one. Yes, yeah. the non benefits. So that's why I'm 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 really worried about this case. Yeah. No, nya is the one rapos wana wa kuwa rapa social media and wana wa wana wa diki wa jinji wana ma phone. Most of them, but um, they are not really guided. No, no, no parents. Maybe they cannot buy phone, but they really don't monitor. Yes. Yes. with that phone that was it say that was tamba hipa was it say abas ku zimoni ndo ngoti ah it's okay so long number phone ya kare bo you know just like that mm. and ndo pane wari yangu ipa ndi very worried so guys uh, in me as teenagers are you able to to to, to stand kana uh, <laughs> this cyber bullying because or, or to stand dep- depression yeah. you know because you know we are through Someone mentioned about depression and anxiety. Yeah. And yeah. from God, you got depression. It's just bodily. It's a micro. But when you walk, you walk, you walk. 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 You yeah. Mm-hmm. We cannot because some of us we learn through social media. Mm-hmm. We 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 tend to grow through these social medias. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, I think I can say that the social media impact on us because mm-hmm. social media totally mm-hmm. yeah. And then if we, those policies, I I I, I heard you mentioning could agarari yes. yeah. If they are put into practice, you know those committing cyber, those who are being cyber bullied, mm-hmm. hanging out to voice out, mm-hmm. and then pointing out to it could I and get it. Mm. Everyone are caught, you know, in the crossfire. Yeah, cyber bullying. Can I ten years in jail? Yes, it should happen. Not kungo ti shungo taura. Not kungo not kungo ti shupa be pasaka taura. Na ningi who is very much respected. Chaka chaka. This should be done. Can I ask you to jail? Many years and finally make a short ten years in jail. You know these things like corruption. I still move on. I go pinda, but because somebody are depressed out there. Mm-hmm. 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 Because of that, they can, somebody can even go out there and kill themselves. Because I know, I cannot, I cannot even face the world. Mm-hmm. How can I face the world after what? After yeah, exactly. After, you know. yeah. exactly. No, that's uh, that's powerful. I'm talking here to Paidamo and Shanice. So Paidamo is from Bradley. Uh, all the way from Bindura and uh, uh, Shanice from Glenview uh, on the Genius Kids Show. And uh, in conclusion, mm. uh, I want to hear from you what you want to say in conclusion um, in regards to this uh, subject. All right. I can safely say if our parents, our parents should educate us because you'd find Kuti, 
yes, you know, in different homesteads, you don't mm-hmm. even live with your parents. And then, you know, you don't even have that enough. Yes. You should do this, do this, mm-hmm. and that. So it's important to know, to, to know that well, parents uh, can play a vital role in preventing, you know, cyberbullying. It's a multifaceted issue uh, that requires a broader community. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to seem as if I am agree- I am agreeing with the opposite <laughs> side now, yes. but the fault does not lie solely with the parents, mm-hmm. but of course the society as a whole. You know, schools, tax, you know, co- companies and government agencies, they also have important roles to play, you know, in promoting online safety and combating the cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. So in any, I could only say to Zimbabwe, if these policies are put in place and they are practiced very much, mm-hmm. then trust me, we may not be able to eradicate, you know, cyberbullying, but you can reduce it somewhere, mm-hmm. somehow. Mm-hmm. You know, we can help our fellow sisters and brothers out there, even our parents out there. Mm-hmm. We are being cyberbullied. Yes. And then we are also like cyberbullied for the sake of they don't want to be judged, but at yes. least we can reduce that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's all I can say. Powerful. Um, from my side, the non-affirmative bench, Shanice was now agreeing with me. (laughs) 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 But um, this case here, cyberbullying, is not a fight that the parents must take alone, Mm -hmm. right? Because we need um, a society that is united. Mm -hmm. Because as Zimbabwe right now, Pakaoyo, my parents, they play their part Mm beside Oku. Yeah. We have the government initiatives, um, the policies that we are crying for to be practiced. Mm-hmm. They come from that side. Yes. We have my social media institutions. I know you all introduced some stiffer penalties, but my policies are mm-hmm. AI. And then we work together so that this cyberbullying can be uh, reduced. And then at the end of the day, we need to educate the child as a whole yeah. because the child here is the major stakeholder. Yes, um, the government, the laws, the social media have this. Mm-hmm. But then, kanangwana asinga nzwega apana kwa tuwenda. So, if we as children understand that this cyberbullying is not something that is fair to us and to the society mm-hmm. at large, because at the end of the day, we are going to have more cases of drug abuse, True. we are going to have more cases of suicide. Mm-hmm. So, we need to have a society that is compassionate, mm. which is going to start with us, the teenagers of today. Powerful. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thank, thank you for you, having thank us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> right. Thank you for us. Moyo and Shanice, you know, on the Genius Kids show. We get to, you know, deliberate on different issues. But, you know, next time, we want our social media. We want various topics to touch on. But I want to say thank you so much, guys, for, for watching. Thank you for supporting us. And keep it all a seven. Bye-bye. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.